morning, Friday morning, last night coming home from dress rehearsal was a real booger. I'm not sure how far away it is, 20 miles maybe? And I it took me a little, over, a little over an hour to get home. I went about 30 miles an hour, this is American miles per hour, and less. The roads were covered with ice and a little thin layer of snow on the ice. And when I, hey, oh, I might as well leave this on so I can see what I'm doing. I hate it. I hated it. Coffee. Big coffee. Yeah. Mmm. Need it. Need it. Today's opening night of the play I'm in. Oh, this hanging on the mirror is not complete. It's going to be draped around the room. Hopefully I'll do that tomorrow morning and film my Christmassy looking stuff. I have lights on the outside of the house which don't light up till later. And this Christmas tree over here doesn't light up till later. Can you see it? Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I called yesterday. I have bills to pay and, and not too much money to pay them with. So I'm, that's going to be a balancing act. I've been putting it off and putting it off and oh my god it's gotten to the point where they're going to turn it off if I don't do something. And I've got a little bit of money. I can try to spread it around a little bit. So we'll see what we can do. I called this healthcare. I mean I looked online for healthcare.gov for this healthcare thing that that the if you don't have health care you're required to have it or you're penalized and fined and stuff like that and uh, the people that are, have Medicare and Medicaid or insurance through their own company or whatever they're covered this is for people like me that don't have anything and the lowest per month is like five four hundred forty four dollars or something per month for insurance I don't have that I don't even make that kind of money I make nothing right now so I called and said you can text or you know, um, what is it chat online so I went and I typed my questions and the, they said well you can call us at our 800 number so I called at the 800 number and the girl on the other end the only thing she was doing was reading off the uh, website the page that explains this or that she wasn't telling me anything I couldn't have already seen and I said are you guys trained to answer questions oh yes we went through lots of training and I'm thinking what they tell you in a half an hour's time to read what's on the screen I didn't say that but I felt like saying it and then I'm you know trying to be a cheerful person trying not to be a pain in the butt and I said well what's the weather like where you are and the girl was freaked out I said what part of the country are you in thinking you know maybe you're you have snow maybe you don't she couldn't tell me Oh, we're not allowed to tell you. And I said, I just, I'm not tell, asking you where, what city you're in. I'm just asking you what part of the country you're in. Have you had snow yet? She couldn't answer any question like that. It was like she wasn't allowed. I'm thinking, oh, God. You know, when you go from being friendly and open to only being a computer or reading what's on a computer screen and not being able to interpret anything or say anything or do anything that's terrible the society is going to crash big time anyway um, was said that the navigators which reminds me of that movie that the kid was flying around anyway but it said the navigators can tell you more about the healthcare whatever and gave me a number to call a local navigator, which I haven't done yet, but I'm going to, to find out if I can sign up for an exemption, which I'm, they had a list of, you are exempt from paying the fee if this and this and this apply. Well, I'm exempt, but you have to sign a form, and they don't have the forms yet. And I said, well, when will you have the forms? Oh, by the end of the year and I said well that's kind of getting getting close there it's almost the end of the year right now she, you know it's like there's no come on there's no no personalization there's no not no humanization in it and that's a shame and and this time of the year is always tough for me because 
everyone running around cheerful and joyful and smiling and God bless you and all this stuff when the rest of the year you know they're miserable sods and you know it you know it's not their true nature to do this or they do it all year round and the world would be a much better place and it just saddens me to the point of tears sometimes um, I knew this this would go every, every direction. Um, tonight is opening night and I'm going to leave really really early. If I have to sit in the theater by myself and twiddle my thumbs for an hour before everyone else gets there I'll do it. But um, eh, people in St. Louis do not know how to drive. Not at all. And on this weather they were driving as if it were warm and dry, you know, cutting each other off and stuff. I'm like, oh my God, stay away from me. I ended up getting off on a secondary road, one that had maybe three cars total on it. And it took me a little longer to get home, but I didn't care. I got home in one piece. One big fat piece. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, Santa Claus, send me some good, hunky, swarthy guy, huh? Some intelligent. I know hunky and, and intelligent don't normally go together, but I, I knew one. So. Uh, oh, please. Oh, Santa, please. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Quarter to two in the afternoon on Friday the 6th. I have so many things that I have to do still legally and, and bills etc etc that I just can't. I can't. I have no money. And hopefully I'll hear from the hardware store and I'll still have to keep applying for jobs. <sighs> and then I'll get back to uh, when I'm really stressed out, yes, I go to my little piano-y thing, my electric piano. Thank <laughs> you.